Oh, 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 oh hello. <laughs> oh, hello there. In Korean, this would be called banchan. It is your assortment of pickles and all sorts of snacky, eaty things that help you with the rest of your meal. In Hebrew, this is called salatim, which means little salads. We're in Rockville, Maryland. Rockville, Maryland, a joint called Al Ha'esh. This place has been a restaurant establishment for a very long time. It was always a Middle Eastern bent. It is part of a supermarket, and it is a central point in the Rockville from community. And they do it right. You come in and you order their skewers, and with the skewers you get your salad teams, right? See how Israeli pickled Moroccan carrots are always my jam. That's your jam. Oh, I want you to try it, Moroccan mm -mm. carrots. Mm -mm. Appropriate seasoning all around. Yeah? I would love for you to try a carrot. Imagine if a carrot was like a pickle. I would, I would. How about uh, cucumber? Pretty much anything on this board is a you thing. Worth the trip alone. It is a Middle Eastern joint. There are Middle Eastern flavors. This is their version of a merguez, which to me is a little more on the Tunisian side. It's really more of a, on a Tunisian to know basis. <laughs> Tunisian to know. <laughs> house-made sausages, a house-made merguez. We've had them in a lot of places. This is one of the standouts. It's got a fruity, fruity, spicy, spicy. That is a beautiful fruit-filled red spice, and it is appropriately spicy because it's a spicy merguez. Not holding back, the grind is beautiful, the texture is beautiful. Throw that in that pocket. You and I are working here today. We got their hummus with their beef. <laughs> we got more pitas, buddy. So it's super rich, it's, it's, uh, it's a thicker blend, uh, very nutty, which means you know, a lot of zahina stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And then you have all that uh, different types of richness from the flavor, the oil has like, you know, some sort of jazz and zest down there. Fatty, and then you have the richness from the beef, yep. which is kind of cooked down in there. So there's all sorts of rich, 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 creamy, rich, 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 creamy, herby. This is Jerusalem Mix, so they have a beef and a chicken and an onion. And then we have our classic yellow rice. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything, and then my yellow, yellow rice. Onions carry like those, those earthy, clovey, spicy flavors so hard. Yeah. So hard. You need it. Need it. It marries well. Yeah. Shipu dam. <laughs> yeah, shipu dam on the table. These are hot. Skewers. We have our lamb kebab. And the entricot. Steak. Entricots, so steaks. Skewers out for the summer. Skewers out forever. Killer kebab. And an entirely different profile. That lamb is well-seasoned, well-rounded uh, kebab. And it's that parsley green, and it gives it like a brightness. And a, it's a full-flavored, Salty where it needs to be salty. The fats and the flavors combine well to, to create really a very pleasant kebab experience. Yo, wake up, man. Sometimes you just don't treat me like I'm a professional. Ugh, come on. Oh, hello, I forgot you were there. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Mm. I'm sorry, excuse us. Roll up here, this is your kebab skewer kosher spot. Anywhere, you know, down south, on your way to anywhere and down south. With a grocery store attached to it. Stock up on the Merguez. Yeah. This is on high ish in uh, We Will We Will Rockville. Ah, <laughs> uh, Maryland. Hi, this is CW. I had a kosher idea and now I have trippingkosher.com. Do you have a kosher idea? Do you need a kosher domain website? My boys over at B52 Media, they know a guy, now I know a guy, kosherideas.com. Kosherideas.com. Oh, 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 oh,